Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm sharing with you guys a big empties into clutter. Um, and I say that it's big because I really have been focusing just using everything up not repurchasing anything and just things that are at its last little bit are getting decluttered as you guys know i am moving and actually i am moving tomorrow so i've been saving all of this trash till the very last minute and um yeah let's go ahead and just jump right in so i have all of the things that i'm basically going to declutter because they're not 100 percent done off to the side here and i'm going to share with you why why <laughs> so the first thing is the hell pour cleanup mask by elizaveka um this was like super popular when k-beauty like first entered the sphere and i used to really like this to take off like the sebaceous filaments that i have around my nose i still suffer with them but i don't really use this as much and um i rather just I've been putting product on my nose actually to try to get rid of it and that's helped quite a bit. I do have a lot less um, but I still have some and I'd rather just take a tweezer and kind of clean up the area since it tends to be like a little bit less um, evasive or intense as like ripping it all off and affecting the whole skin area because since I do blow my nose quite a bit it is prone to like dryness so um, I'm just going to get rid of this. It's like really down to here i've used quite a bit i mean i've had this for years and like i said it was great for my sebaceous filaments but um i'm gonna try not to use that and just try to get rid of the problem from like the root rather than just like you know does that make sense anyways yeah so we're just gonna trash that this is a dermatologist prescription this is clindamycin phosphate topical lotion this expired um Jeez, don't mind maple like i said my bag i have bags in my room of things i have to get thrown away recycled still need to be packed and the dogs are in and out so they're just kind of like hitting everything that's how crazy it is um but yeah so this um ah <laughs> this uh is a little bit expired so i'm just gonna pass it along i do have like a fresher bottle that i will be taking with me but um this is just topical um antibiotics and you use it in conjunction with like a benzyl peroxide wash and it really helps to keep like the bacteria that causes uh like the little breakouts at bay so i've been using this since i first started getting breakouts and i haven't steered away from it so definitely a must in my skincare routine. I don't use it every day, but I do uh, use it to really help keep my skin clear. Um, I am calling it done slash quits on this last little bit of La Tourage Glacier Water Daily Facial Toner. Um, it definitely looks like water, feels like water. It's not water because if it gets in your eyes, it does sting. I don't really find the need for a toner, even though it's hydrating and soothing. I do use it when I'm feeling extra bougie and like have the extra time to just spray it on my skin before I apply my serum, just that for that extra boost of hydration. Um, I'm trying out this other one by like Sunday Riley, see if it makes a difference. I don't know if it's really making a difference. I guess the key is like once I stop using it and see if anything happens. But if I ever want that step again, I definitely would repurchase this one. So this is La Tourage I got it on Amazon and there's like very little left. So I'm just going to call it done so I'm not like literally taking up space with an empty bottle. Um, and like I said, if I ever go back to like the whole like spray before your serums and stuff, I would definitely go back to this one. I have two little like heat protectant stuff. This is the Hot Toddy by Dry Bar. It only has like a tiny little bit left. And this is the Bumble and Bumble. BB hairdresser invisible oil heat slash UV protective primer. I'm going to try to use them up. I still have to wash my hair um, because it is a little bit oily so I just need to like wash it and I'll probably like blow dry it or something so I'll definitely use this up and um, that way but if not I'm just going to call it done with them. I don't really find that the hot toddy one does anything and then I know that when I used to like get my hair done I know that the hairdresser that I used to go to used to use this and that's why I bought a little tiny size um, when a salon was going out right? Was that the same time? No. I think I just bought this at Ulta to get free shipping or get to like that one mark to get a coupon. So, um, yeah, I don't know if heat protectant sprays really do much. I don't really use heat styling on my hair that that often because my hair is just so prone to, like, split ends and breakage that I try to avoid it 100%. But, um, 
I still use it even though I don't know whether it does something or not. So I'm going to use the last little bit of it. And if not, they're just going to get tossed tonight slash tomorrow morning. And then last but not least in regards to like things that aren't completely done. This is the PCA Skin C and E Strength. It is a vitamin C topical treatment but this expired back in April so I haven't really been using it that much but I do like to use it like on my arms or like on my chest because when skincare like isn't at its prime and you don't really want to use it you can definitely still use it at other parts so I'm gonna use like the last little bit of it tonight and um, again whatever's left just toss just on my neck and on my chest and then a little bit on my arms because I do suffer from keratosis pilaris and my skin also scars very very easily so if it can help some of that topical redness go away then I'd rather like use that for that um but yeah I don't think I would repurchase this vitamin c cream serum it's like a weird consistency it's like a cream serum it's not quite liquidy as a serum but it's not like a thick cream it's like a lightweight cream um I know that PCA skin is expensive and for the price I don't think that it's really worth it I've had my fair share of usage of PCA skin in my last couple of empties and I don't think it's worth the price so so now we're moving on to the things that I actually use up that are in the bag the first thing that I'm taking out is the onyx professional just acetone nail polish remover I just like using acetone I know it's very strong but it just removes nail polish the fastest um, and it comes in handy for like the once or twice a year that I get like gel manicures or like acrylic manicures so I really use this up because I had acrylics on recently and I don't know like for some reason every time it comes around like taking my nails off I have all the tools to do it but it takes me like three hours to do it and for some reason like in the moment I'm just like I'd rather like take my time and remove it myself than pay like the $15 it is to remove them and then after like the three hours I like I should have just paid the $15 to get them removed in like 10 minutes instead of like the three hours that I spent but I did go through a lot of Real Housewives <laughs> while doing it slash you know I didn't break the bank and I got to use up one of my bottles up because I still have another one but that's just gonna stay here it's not going with me and yeah and then like my nails aren't as badly damaged because they do use like a drill to like remove um, acrylics and instead it was better for my nails so I just end up using it up but I will repurchase this brand because I hate just fussing with nail polish remover I want it to be done and over with real fast I went through Shiseido facial cotton rounds I found them at Marshalls for $7.99 and so I bought a two pack and I finally went through them um, they are really nice they definitely are high quality but I'm not like a big cotton pad user the only time that I find myself really using them is for micellar water. I have the reusable cotton pounds, cotton pounds, cotton rounds, and I think the reusable cotton rounds are great for like normal makeup remover. So I have two here, just like the dual phase. So I have a Neutrogena one and then I have the Walmart version of the Neutrogena one. So I think that's great for reusable ones, but my cellar water for some reason doesn't really work with the reusable ones and it works great with the cotton pads. So that's why I have like both here. Um, I'm going to try to not, I'm going to try to stick it to my reusable cotton rounds, which means I'll have to buy these, but at least these are recyclable. I do like them. I prefer the Neutrogena over the Equate one. I think the Equate one must have changed something in their formula because it kind of stings my eyes now if it like really gets into my eyes and I mean it have to because I have to let like I'm not flipping you off I swear I have to let it like soak on my eyelashes because a reusable cotton round can be like um really rough and tug so if I just like press it and just let it sit there it really like helps remove it but sometimes like this got into my eyes the equate one and it would burn and the Neutrogena one doesn't really do that um but it's just good cheap makeup remover definitely would repurchase it because it does last me a while and it really like gets everything off and then you know the cotton rounds I only repurchase and not necessarily the Shiseido ones but I do when I have like my cellar water. I cup a I have a couple of hair products in here so I have the not your mother's curl talk deep conditioning curl mask this came in like this like squeezy tube this was nice I mean it wasn't like super over the moon but it definitely did its job and it's 
good for the price. I like that you can really squeeze out everything into it. I like using this with a protein mask and um, honestly I didn't 100% use this up. I squeezed the last little bit of it into like the protein mask container because it was like half gone so it was like why have two containers when I could just squeeze it in one and I like to use both together. Um, but I do like it. I would repurchase it. Although it sucks that this isn't like recyclable. It just has a recyclable cap. So I mean that's good that the cap's recyclable. But obviously this is not. Um, I'd rather go for like recyclable packaging when it comes to it. So but you get everything out of this I guess in comparison to like squeezy tube like this one which you would just have to cut open this is the Joyco um, intensive treatment for dry and damaged hair I did cut this open this did suffer from like an acetone bottle explosion so like all the packaging like melted off um, and I did the same thing with this one there wasn't like a ton a ton left so I just squeezed it into my normal conditioner because I do like um, mixing both and I have noticed like my hair being a little bit better in the frizz department so I definitely would repurchase this one also this one I got introduced from my mother-in-law I think I think she was the one that had like a bottle of this and she was like oh try it and I did and I went and bought my own bottle because it does make my hair feel really really soft and it helps like a little bit with frizz so I just like mixing it in with the conditioner because you are supposed to put this like without it and leave it like for 10 to 10, 5 to 10 minutes and then do your routine so I was like might as well mix them and it works um, so that's what I'll just keep on doing so both of them I would definitely repurchase in the future I have a couple of sheet masks in here so let's talk about this one I have two of the Neutrogena Hydra Boost I used one and Josh used the other one um, it was kind of like a little treat after the engagement when he came out here and like we spent time with my parents and my family and so we just did this on the last night I'll include a picture because it's really funny um, but it is nice you guys know that I'm not the biggest fan of sheet masks because it's very wasteful and I try not to buy like things that are wasteful so you Usually when you see someone here it's because it was gifted he did buy it for us I wasn't the one that went out of the way and like purchased them um, it was nice um, I have to say that they probably work better in a non dry climate so it's very like nice for like the night but like the next morning you wake up and like your skin is parched here in the dry dry desert so um, yeah but it's good for like the little like little boosts like it says it's a hydro boost line great for that but not long-term like moisture and then this was also a gift from a friend that I hadn't used in a while just because this is specifically for um, mattifying an anti-blemish. This is the Sephora mask and I don't really have that many blemishes but I have been breaking out quite a bit in like my chin area this last week. So that's why I finally decided to bust it out and use it. it I've literally had this for like two years or so and I it's kept moving with me but I just never used it. Um, and I don't know if it really helped with my breakouts, but you know, it was there. I was breaking out. I was like, it's the perfect time to use it. And then I don't have to like worry about leaving it behind or moving with it. Probably wouldn't go out of my way to purchase the Sephora face masks because I know that they're quite pricey and I don't really know if they do a whole bunch. If you're going to like pay the price of a face mask, like there's other ones that cost the same that will actually do something rather than just the Sephora brand and like for the sake of a sheet mask. Have another moisturizer in here. This is the Apu Madagascar Cream. This is a good cream that like helps just like lock everything in moisture. It has Madagascar and Centella which tends to help with the improvement of your skin tone. Um, I think it does help a little bit with like the natural redness in my skin which is why I this is like my third or fourth bottle. I want to say this might be like my fourth bottle in my whole lifetime. And I definitely will repurchase this once I move because it's cheap, it's K-Beauty, and it actually like is moisturizing and does something. So it's kind of become like a skincare staple in my skincare cabinet. This is the Caudalie SOS Thirst Quenching Serum. This used to be like my winter staple when I, um, you know, did not live in the desert. And ever since I started living in the desert and started working and actually getting money, I've literally been just using this the entire time because of how dry it is. Now that I'm moving more into like a more normal climate that isn't like so dry, might be super dry in the winter, this might go back to being just my winter 
essential. I'll have to test the waters in regards to, you know, East Coast weather and see how it reacts to that. But um, I do see this in my future, especially because everyone has warned me of how like dry East Coast winters are. And I don't know if it's like worse because of the wind. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, people who have told me, you know, they're just like, prepare your skin. <laughs> so we'll see, we'll see. I don't know like where I'm trying to get with it. It's just that everyone's just been like, oh, be prepared for the harsh winter. So. I'm preparing for the harsh winter and hopefully this still holds the test of like will help you survive the dry skin problems but totally SOS there's quenching serum I have another hair product in here this is the Mizani 25 miracle cream which is 25 benefits leave-in and it also has a little bit of a heat protectant I basically use this every time I blow dry my hair it was a point perk I don't think I would purchase it because I don't again I don't use heat product that much only like in rare occasions I do and I've had this for a while and I finally used it up um, and I can't really speak to it whether it helped my hair look better or actually protected it in any way split ends still popped up after I blow dried my hair <laughs> after using this um, so yeah just used it up I have the Pharmacy Green Clean Makeup Melt Away Cleansing Balm this is a really good um, balm. You do have to make sure that you do rub everything in before you start applying it because I've had like a chunk get into my eye and that was so so painful because it was hiding. It was a small chunk and I pain. Talk about pain and I guess this was just, just like a freebie or it must have been a point a Sephora point perk or something and I've kind of just been using it the last couple of days because I've been putting away stuff for packing purposes so I basically packed away all my micellar waters and like whatever other makeup removers so I've really just been using this because you just apply it on your eyes you don't need cotton rounds you don't need um, basically anything else so yeah I think tonight I might just have to like steal a cotton round from my mom and use like the because I have one more bottle. Can you guys believe it? I have one more bottle of these and I have not repurchased one of these in a very long time because these are just everywhere. Um, so I might just steal a cotton round from my mom to be able to use this tonight. Since like I said, I'm leaving tomorrow, but yeah, I liked it. I don't think I would purchase it just because of how expensive it is, but I would repurchase like the same concept because I like that you don't really have to use anything when it comes to balms and oils for removing your makeup. Um, and I like that the best. <laughs> I only have a few makeup makeup y items. I have the Jack Black Natural Mint Lip Balm. It's honestly my all-time favorite lip balm. And it's just good for any type of weather because I've realized that lip balms don't work the same based on your environment. So this has worked everywhere and I plan on repurchasing more. There's just a little, little tiny bit in it, but I know I'll finish it by tomorrow. So that's why I'm including it in this video. And then last but not least, I have two mascaras. They're from L'Oreal. I have the L'Oreal Telescopic, which I have used for the longest time, and it's great if you have long lashes and you're trying to lengthen them. I have long lashes. My problem with my lashes, because they're so long and heavy, is that they droop a lot, and I find that they don't really do that with this mascara. And then I have the L'Oreal Voluminous to add a little bit of volume and thickness because this one just like lengthens and just kind of works with what you have and makes them look like longer. But this one actually adds some thickness so it's like poosh. And so this has always been my favorite combination. It's not the combination I'm using right now just because I've had other mascaras. For some reason, every time I go, they're always sold out of the telescopic. And I hope it's because other people love it and not because they're discontinuing it. But who knows. So I'm using another mascara that I do like, but I always go back to telescopic. I've been using it for years and years and years and years. Um, so yeah. That is everything that I have for this empties videos. It is my last empties videos in this in this place and hopefully my empties videos will take like a different turn as I'm uh, trying out new products for new places because I know like your staples will not always work in different environments. And I have so much trash around me to clean up. This video is probably way too long but I hope you guys enjoyed and you guys are having a great rest of your day, afternoon, or evening, no matter where you are. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye!